Thank you for staying with us. Let's begin with President Bola Tinobu's effort to drive investment in Nigeria. President Tinobu has affirmed the country's determination to pursue investment from Germany in targeting targeted sectors and growth enabling industries like energy, transportation, and electric power. This was part of his discussions with the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on the sideline of the G20 Compact with Africa Economic Conference. Let's hear from the President. A democracy should be if we fight for it. Yes, it is now very flexible and resilient in Nigeria. Be assured. Shake off the military era syndrome. Shake that off. You may have all other news from sections of Africa, but for Nigeria, democracy is there, is here, and we are partners. <laughs> Nigeria voted for me for reforms. And from day one of my inauguration, I started the reform. Yes, it could be difficult in the past to do business in Nigeria, in Africa as a whole. But to any foresight and progressive business thinkers, to ignore the largest economy in Africa is not the solution to your progressive side. That's in Germany. I saw the way the president, in, even in Saudi Arabia, the way he was marketing in Nigeria aggressively. Yes. Yes. In continuation of that, you can see the way the president is marketing Nigeria. It's quite amazing. When I sit down to listen to his speeches, people don't, people are not talking about <laughs> this mm, <laughs> speech. Bala blue anymore. No, there's no bala blue to report. I've been saying he's, he's, he's completely shut up. Those who felt, oh, the Tinubu presidency will be full of howlers, will be full of bala blues, will be full of habado, will be full of uh, cassava, all of those things that they were saying. They can't hear anything from his man. They are wondering, is this the same man? Ha, is it the same man? Well, God, God has his way of doing things. And the ways of God, only he can explain. God wanted this man to be president. God knows why. Now, of all the people, he paved the way for him to emerge. There's nothing and I be behind God. No. No, I believe in God. I was uh, born in the north. That is the way we see things. We believe that there is a ruler of the universe. And it is when he permits something to happen that it can happen. This is the No matter how you hate that person. Yes. Yeah. You hate him. You hate. Look at those who are wishing Buhari dead. Many of them died before him. They, they, they died. And Buhari is still, waxing, Buhari is still strong waxing strong. The day that, that he came, after he, when he was, was ill, when he was ill, and he was abroad for a long time, he came down at the airport in Kaduna. Ra ra ra, the, the musician said, So who ya saw the quarry that an old man stepped down with strength, with vigor. They were not expecting it, they thought it would be packaged. But he came back, and from that point, he started walking. You remember he started walking. He, he trekked for 800 meters mm. to the mosque. Mm. He refused to be allowed. Yes, yes he refused to be allowed to, 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 I mean, to be carried. I remember when I visited, uh, 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 when I visited the president's wife. Then, the son Yusuf was telling me that they were all taken by surprise. That the president <clears throat> could walk that far. Somebody who had just recovered. Well, that is God, God for you. Tinubu has marketed not just Nigeria, but our continent the way others before him had not done. Mm. Remember that speech at the UN? Somebody said he was marketing the continent mm. and saying, look, don't, 
come and prescribe to us what to do. This is what we will do as, as a continent. This is what we want. That's presidential. And the way it's going about this um, uh, economic di uh, diplomacy, it is clear that he wants so many great things to happen in the area of the economy during his time. And he's really, really focused on that. That it has taken a lot of energy out of him. But it's because he knows that when these people begin to come in with their foreign direct investment, portfolio investments and all that, the economy will improve. There will be jobs for people who will look at MTN now and say that MTN, a foreign company, has not changed the face of business even in our country. How many companies are contributing to the GDP as much as MTN is doing? Because it's the clear market leader in that uh, telecom sector. That is what foreign investment can do for you. It will, it will bring in foreign exchange for you. It will bring transfer of technology. It will employ, it will give employment to people who desire it badly in your country. So we need these people to come, come to our country and invest. And the president is saying, look, there are critical areas, energy, transportation. We need you to come down. Now look at the German chancellor is saying, you need to sort out some gray areas. You know, it's always said that it's difficult to do business in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We have to improve in the area of ease of doing business. business. And the German uh, chancellor is saying, we can help you because Tinobu wants rail transportation, rail transport in our country, modern rail transport, double the speed <clears throat> that we have now. Mm -hmm. Because it's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, chancellor is saying, that will happen when we have sorted out some problems here and there because that's an area that Siemens can be of use. So before going to those places, he already has his agenda. He knows what he wants. We are going through difficult times at this time. You know, people don't even want to hear about some measures being taken. But the truth is, if these ideas are followed through, the gains will come. They may not come in the immediate. No one is talking about that. But the gains will come later. And people will see that, yes, our economy is on the path of real growth and development. That is, that is what this president but you, is. Some Nigerians are looking at, as we are waiting for the gains, are we not going to die of hunger before this gain comes? Because some Nigerians are not so patient. And they are not asking for too much. All they just want is good governance. What they just want is food on my table. They are not expecting that rice will become 67,000 naira per bag. And we are less than how many months to Christmas? Yes. Um, <clears throat> things are really bad. But um, if you look at the way a baby falls, while trying to learn uh, walking, uh, to, to walk. Now you would think, uh, you, you might wonder, will the baby ever make it to adulthood? So that's the, that's the, that's the process we are in Nigeria. It's not easy. Each, each time I drive into a fuel station and I want to top up, I, I feel the pain. I mean, it's, it's not easy at all. And, um, Couple of the exchange rate uh, harmonization. I mean, it's affecting all of us, but it's like um, <clears throat> we'll be deceiving ourselves if we expect a miracle to happen in six months. But things had really gone very bad. Now, recall that the past administration uh, of uh, Buhari entered into a power agreement with uh, the same Siemens. But there are some cobwebs, there are some bureaucratic bottlenecks, which the German Chancellor uh, gave a hint about when he came visiting uh, about a month ago uh, in Abuja, where he invited President Tinumbu to this meeting. So those are the areas they are trying to clear. And if you see the kind of intervention Siemens is making in Egypt, you will know that. They know their onion. 
for example, Siemens used to be basically into uh, telephone, but now they have diversified. Wow. They, are, they have gone into power and also rail transportation. Siemens is building a 60,000 kilometer, um, two, uh, sorry, 2,000 kilometer, 230 kilometers per hour rail network in six, across 60 cities in, uh, in Egypt. And that will transform and change the uh, uh, mass transportation in that country. That's the kind of uh, thing the president wants seamen to come and replicate in Nigeria. And what they just need is that guarantee and ease of doing business that when they come, there will be no encumbrances. They are ready to finance it. They are ready to do a build, operate, manage, and transfer uh, for, for us. Similar to what the Lagos State Government did with uh, CCECC, uh, the China Civil Engineering on the Blue Line. So as they are, as they, as they are doing 30%, then the government will give them the milestone, not that you will wait for government to fund you first. It is the payments will be on milestone. So that's, that, that would be a game changer in our uh, transfer because what we use presently now is the 100 kilometers per hour uh, standard gauge, which I mean, that one cannot take you more than 100 kilometers. But the fast, the, the, the rapid rail system that they are building in Egypt, I mean, is the, the type that uh, the president wants to bring to the uh, And also, it is not as if we are not having the power. Even the, the, the German uh, chancellor said that. It's not as if we don't have electricity. It is being generated, but it's not getting to the population because of the problems you have with our transport, I mean, with our um, transmission, transmission distribution. Uh, and distribution. So we don't have that capacity to really store more. I doubt if we can store up to 15,000 uh, megawatts of uh, electricity. So yeah, we, we, we need to. We and, we'll, and that's why. The capacity that we can generate, we lack the capacity to transmit. To, to transmit and store, yeah. We lack the capacity to distribute it. Yeah. So that is uh, the problem. So that's, that, that's, that's, and that's why you see our uh, national grid shutting down. When you want to, I mean, if you, if you have a capacity for, if, you're, if your tank capacity is 100 uh, liters, for example, and you want to put, you want to force 120 liters into it, it is either a bust or your, 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 your petrol will be wasting. So that's the kind of thing we have. So if you get to a certain capacity that is above the threshold, it, the grid will shut down. So we need to work more on this to ensure that we improve on our uh, distribution ne network and transmission network. So those two areas are areas that will further uh, showcase the efforts uh, that the president is uh, putting into uh, taking out of the doldrum. Julie, on a final note, Nigerians are waiting that these foreign um, investors that President Bola met in Nubu, these investors that is going out to woo, that. Um, the dividend at the end of the day, they will sit on their table. They will see it. They want, they want to see it, and they want to see no, it before they uh, die of hunger. The <sighs> president is not Aladdin. He's not a magician. He's not a magician who will put rabbit out of a hat. So let's not deceive our people that something that had been damaged over a period of 20 years, an Aladdin can come and within six months will repair. I've had even some of the best economists in our country, people like uh, Rewane, say Nigerians will begin to see um, improvement from the second quarter. Second he quarter. said that he said that within the first few weeks of the president's takeover. So these changes, we are seeing other countries of the world too facing so uh, uh, much problems at this time. Can we even compare ourselves to Argentina, for example? The inflationary rate in Argentina is almost 150%. Or Ghana. Or even Ghana. Ghana, so Ghana, is, Ghana is hedging towards 50%. You see Nigeria, over time, over time, we've been made to feel that, look, 
There is no problem. You get this, you get this. And if people subsidized. rely on government, Electricity is we used to subsidize air travel. I'm telling you that Nigerian Airways, we used to subsidize air travel. We used to subsidize essential materials, rice, uh, sugar, yeah. wheat. I grew up in Nigeria to see us subsidize uh, food items. Mm -hmm. All of this cannot continue forever. Now, we could not, when we could not pay our bills, we knew that we had to just let subsidy go. Subsidy is gone. When Nigeria begins to recover, Mm. And the currency, our currency stabilizes is much stronger. Mm. There is no way that it will not impact on so many faces of economic life, including even the cost of wealth. So we are waiting patiently for that uh, improvement to happen because it's happened in some countries. And the people saw the progress uh, later on. We need a transformational leader. Mm. We need the president to continue to push hard to improve the economy. Once that improvement happens, there are people, Nigerians will be able to see, you won't be able to hide it. Mm -hmm. We can't sit here and tell Nigerians that, oh, we still have to offer hope to our people. Mm -hmm. If some of us are confident in our country and we've chosen not to leave this country, we have to encourage others to remain. There are people who tell me, Jide, when we hear you speak, our hope in Nigeria becomes even greater. That is what we need to continue to do. And when the president or his people are derailing, it is our duty to tell him that, look, you cannot do this.